Aside from the North nuclear provocations, the international community is seeking to step up its monitoring of the regime's human rights abuses. The UN Human Rights Council wants to launch a special commission to scrutinize the human rights situation in the country. Hwang Song Hee has the details. North Korea may be in for tighter international monitoring of its human rights abuses, as the UN Human Rights Council is seeking to set up a commission to investigate reports of deteriorating living conditions and the absence of rights in North Korea. And I feel that this is one situation which I have characterized as about the worst in the whole world. So there's a need now for a strengthened inquiry so that there is a more in-depth investigation of the human rights violations. At a UN meeting in Geneva on Monday, Japan and the European Union introduced a draft resolution that urges the top rights body to establish a two-member committee to monitor the widespread human rights violations reported to take place in the communist state for a year. At least 200,000 people, including many children, are believed to be detained in political prison camps in North Korea. A UN human rights investigator said Monday that Pyongyang is guilty of committing nine crimes against humanity, including depriving its citizens of food, the use of torture, arbitrary detention, and the denial of freedom of expression. The North outright denied the allegations. It is nothing more than an instrument of political plot aimed at sabotaging my socialist system by defaming the dignified image of DPRK and creating an atmosphere of international pressure. All 47 member states of the UN Human Rights Council are reportedly on board with the resolution, and it's expected to be approved before the Council wraps up its month-long session on March 22nd. Although the Commission won't be able to conduct actual investigations if North Korea refuses to cooperate, which it has in the past, the establishment of such commission will surely increase international pressure on the regime following the implementation of fresh sanctions by the UN Security Council. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.